Denver is the capital and largest city in the state of Colorado. It is nicknamed Mile High City, as Denver sits exactly one mile above sea level, nestled in the picturesque Rocky Mountains. It is a fabulous destination whether you prefer the bright lights of the city or a relaxing break in nature. However, with so much choice on offer, selecting where to stay in Denver can be quite a difficult decision, especially for first-time visitors. That's why, in today's video, I am going to look at the best Denver neighborhoods. I will explain what each has to offer, where it is located, and who will benefit the most from staying there. We begin a search in the central business district of downtown Denver. Located at the heart of the downtown area, the central business district is filled with many corporations and facilities, making it the ideal choice for business travelers. Great restaurants and some of the best hotels in Denver are located throughout the central business district. This is ideal for workers from out of town who need to unwind after a long, hard day. Lower Downtown and Larimer Square is another of the sub-districts of downtown Denver, located immediately to the north of the central business district. The boundaries of Lower Downtown and Larimer Square are incredibly similar to those of Union Station however they aren't identical. The Union Station section of Lower Downtown is centered around Denver Union Station itself. The largest transport hub in downtown Denver, as well as the city's busiest train station, it is an ideal place to stay if trains are your chosen mode of transport. The final sub-district of downtown Denver, five points in the River North Arts District, is located just to the northeast of Lower Downtown. One of the oldest neighborhoods in the city, first settled in the 1850s, it is a great place to come for anyone interested in the history of Denver. In recent years, it has become one of the fastest developing neighborhoods in the entire city, massively increasing its appeal to tourists. Soul food eateries, cafes, bars, and pubs intertwine with historic theaters and ballrooms. Located immediately south of downtown Denver, the Golden Triangle, or Civic Center, as it is also known, is one of the oldest neighborhoods in the city. Victorian houses and bungalows, dating back to the 19th century, give it a distinctly different feel to other parts of Denver. Important locations like the United States Mint, Central Library, and History Colorado Center make it a fabulous destination to learn more about the foundations of the area. The Capitol Hill area is located immediately to the east of Golden Triangle, at the other end of Civic Center Park. As the name suggests, the most prominent attraction in Capitol Hill is the Colorado State Capitol Building. Built in the late 19th century, it is built to resemble the United States Capitol Building. Each year visitors come to Capitol Hill from far and wide to see its beautiful architecture and learn about the history of the state of Colorado. Cherry Creek is a unique district, located to the southeast of Capitol Hill, along the banks of Cherry Creek itself. It is an area that is equally well known for both nature and shopping, two incredibly contrasting pastimes. In its south, Cherry Creek Shopping Center is one of the largest malls in Denver. Upwards of 160 stores are spread out over more than 1 million square feet, intertwined with dining options, a movie theater, a children's playground, and seasonal farmer's markets. Located to the north of Cherry Creek, City Park is an area dominated by the park itself and surrounded by a small residential neighborhood. As the largest park in Denver, it is a great option for anyone who loves spending time outdoors enjoying nature. Lakes contain ducks and numerous other species of birds, fish and amphibians, for the avid wildlife spotters out there. Meanwhile, boathouses hold vessels to take you out on the water, to make the most of the tranquil setting. Highland is located on the opposite side of the South Platte River from downtown Denver, giving you a fabulous view of the downtown skyline. Being somewhat cut off from the rest of the city, there aren't a huge number of tourist attractions to be found here. One of the most popular is the downtown aquarium, located on the outskirts of the district containing more than 5,000 animals of over 500 species, spread out across 107,000 square feet, it is a fabulous place to see and learn about a wide range of marine life. Our final destination of Central Park and Stapleton is located in the very northeastern section of Denver. Detached from much of the city, it isn't a place that will be right for the majority of people. That said, it does have a few selling points for the right type of traveler. For starters, it is incredibly close to Denver International Airport. This makes it ideal for anyone worried about missing their flight, or who doesn't want to drag their baggage all over town. The Mile High City is a fabulous destination. Its amazing climate changes with the seasons, and it is filled with attractions, amenities, luxury hotels, and sports bars and teams. This ensures everyone will have a great time, no matter when or why you choose to visit Denver. This video should have given you everything you need to ensure your own stay in Denver is absolutely perfect from start to finish. All that's left is to go and start getting things booked so you can experience it all for yourself as soon as possible.